Hey guys, okay, so I decided, oh, by the way, it's like 1.27 a.m., so I'm trying to be like real, real quiet. Um, I decided that I'm gonna cut my hair. I love my hair. Um, but I've had this cut for over a year, and I just want something new. So, I decided I'm gonna cut it. I'm out of breath, I just ran out to my car to get my hair, sorry. And the reason that I ran to my car is I'm going to show you how I do my mohawk before I cut it. Because I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to cut it, but it's going to be soon. I want something new, and my sides are growing now again. So, hopefully, soon, <laughs> I can get something new. Because I'm tired of same old, same old, and I not really put my mohawk up anymore. So, we'll see what happens. So, here's how I do my mohawk. Alright, so first you want your hair straight and brushed out. So, if you have curly hair, you're going to want to, like, straighten it. And you have to have, like, this. Pretty much for something like my hair, you have to have, like, this specific haircut. I have the things on the sides. See how I get down um, in the bed. It's, like peeked into a V. Um, so make sure your hair is like really, really straight. Okay, and then for my particular um, kind of hair, hang on, I need my coat. Okay, for um, my particular kind of hair, um, I part it and I have the bangs. So you can kind of brush that back. And like leave out what you want as bangs. Okay, so that way you have like kind of an idea of what's gonna go in the mohawk and what's not. <laughs> okay, so then take your hairspray and I found that no matter what, this is the only hairspray to use. It's the only kind that works right because it like hardens so fast. <laughs> So, what you're going to do is take your hairspray and spray it into your hand until you have, like, that much-ish and kind of, like, run it through your hair. Do that a couple times. And what that does is, is it kind of gives it structure. Okay, and then put more in your hands and like kind of peek it up. Meanwhile, keeping your bangs in place. And sometimes you get some of these and you gotta just kind of like pull down what you want if it happens to go up. It's whatever. Do that the whole way back in your hair. Alright, and when it's doing these funky things, you can spray the whole thing and just keep doing the shape until it stands.
And this is probably the hardest area to keep up. Alright, and there's the monkey. Alright, so there you have it. It's actually a lot easier than you would think, but I'm like super weird about my hair. Sometimes it takes really long and sometimes it doesn't take that long at all. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna cut my hair and please vote on my Facebook um, what color you'd like it to be because I'm having some issues trying to figure out exactly what I wanted. So. Thanks.